Good morning, folks. Welcome back. Another beautiful morning. Great day to be on Trump. He's uh, not really doing any better, but I think he's just going to lose his sight. Might just have to take the eye. It's looking how it's going to be. The tumor actually looks pretty good, but he's got these ulcers he keeps getting in his eye that are making him blind, and they keep coming back. Whatever. Anyway, today it's a big day for preg checking all of our cows. As you guys know, we already preg checked our heifers back in July. If you guys watched that video. But today, we're gonna do all our mama cows. So we're just rounding them up real quick. We're gonna bring them all to our corrals. And we've got a vet coming. Preg check them all, because it's a lot to do and we need somebody who can do it real quick. We'd be pretty slow. Come on, girls. Darn cows are going the wrong way. Come on, buddy. I know, you're out of shape. It's okay. Hey, wrong way, girls. Come on, down the drop, come on. Down the draw, come on. There you go. Down the draw, come on. Good boy, good boy. Gotta go cut the cows off again. They're running all over the place this morning. <laughs> there, they're going all right now. Corrals are right up here. They're going up. A lot of times they come up this drop, miss the corrals. But it looks like they're going okay. Got to sit and wait for a little bit. The rest are still <laughs> on top of that hill. So we just about <coughs> have all our cows out of the hills. I think we're only short. <laughs> maybe 10 or 15 more. Um, we were short, after we brought everything out, we were short probably 30, 35. Neighbors showed up and had some of them, so we got some from neighbors. Uh, we got a couple little spurts of snow and cold weather. Cows showed up on the highways, we went down and got them. Um, so we're just short a few more, maybe 10, 15. They're gonna show up, they always do. Uh, we might not even be short that much. It's, it's hard to get a real accurate count when the permits are just right beside each other so cows get intermixed and then they get in neighbors and then they show up over here and then a neighbor brings five, ten and another neighbor brings ten and then, yeah, it's, it's always a mess but we know we're always done when we get the last cows out of the hills. <laughs> That's how we know we're done. When we don't go up to the hills to get anymore. Sometimes that can be in February. I think we got most everything, just a few more. Just about everything here. Last one's coming over the hill. Come on, girls. Come on. Hey cow, hey cow, hey cow. She looks rough. Come 
Come on. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. My dad's calling them with a bucket of cake. Hey, 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 Did you get bucked off? Oh no. <laughs> My girls. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, girls. We got to split up. Gonna put some in this other pan. Go on in there, come on. Come on, honey. So for some reason, I lost a bunch of video from today, which is kind of a bummer, but one of the videos I lost was the vet talking about what exactly we're doing today. So we're prank checking today. Um, we want our cows to be all done calving in about two months, 55 to 60 days. So we turned the bulls in about May 10th, May 15th. Hey, be quiet. And um, we just took the bulls out while we're prank checking. So anything that's bred between May and July 15th, May 10th, 15th to July 10th, 15th. We're gonna keep as our bread cows. Um, anything bred after that, we're calling late or opens. So anything that's bred about 120 days, 120 days ago from now would be about July 10th, 15th. So anything bred longer than that, we're keeping as good bread cows. They're gonna fit right in our operation. If they're bred after that, they're a late cow. And those are ones that we're marking as late or marking as open. We're gonna sell those probably. We might keep some of the lates, but we only want to be calving for about two months. So that's what we're doing today. He's going in, looking at the size of the calf's foot or the size of the placentones, which is like a little connector between the fetus and the cow. Um, the size of those, you can tell how old that calf is, how how long it's been growing. So that's what we're doing today. Pregnant cow, very good. Yeah. Come on, honey. Hey, get in there. I'm guessing that's your wife back there. No, she's actually not here yet. Pregnant cow, she's 
good. Nah, my wife will be over in a little bit. Load up, come on. Load up, come on. Come on. Load up. Pregnant cow, very good. Okay. Come on, honey. Oh. Pregnant, very good. Explain what you're doing up here, Dad. Um, I'm giving them a shot for abortions. For abortions. So it's vibrio and left. We give it in the spring too, but uh, it's just we just have a little trouble. But that's what that's really give them some. Yeah. Then you're making. The thing I'm doing is checking the teeth on the cows because the older they get, their teeth start breaking off or wearing out. So when they get too old, they don't have any teeth left. Those ones, we're gonna. Those old cows. Those old cows. Those old cows. Those old cows. Those you want to sell those old cows? The older cows will sell cows. just because they don't do very much. Kind of hard. Yeah. What's that? Bad eye. Okay. What are you doing back here, man? Putting some dewormer on. All right. Come on. Yeah. Explain what we do, because there's a lot of people that I don't think understand. Actually, when you say what you're doing when you're working cows. Right. know it's a beneficial thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Pregnant, you're not hurting them. Like going to the doctor. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's their yearly doctor's evaluation. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't even consider a pregnant woman not going to the doctor. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. But people get weird about cows, things right, happening to cows. She is uh, super late. Do you want me to mark them different or? Just mark them late. That's okay. Fine. Well, you mean Mine's like, late are you mark? talking May or something like that? Uh, June. June? Wow. Uh, come on. Come on. Hey. Come on. Been to the doctor since she's been pregnant, <laughs> like three oh, or four times. Baby? Yeah, we got one coming in February. Oh man, yeah, that's number two. Number pregnant. two, number two, yeah. Mm. These cows should be cow. about exactly as pregnant as you are.
So in this little pen here, we're putting the opens. We're putting the ones that are gonna be a little too late for our operation. That's all right, because they fit in perfectly to somebody else's operation. They're late for us, but not late for most people. So you can usually get a good price selling those late. There are all of our two-year-olds that we're keeping. Uh, yeah, just kind of a mix of a bunch of different. Well, we just finished preg checking everything. In this group, we got our younger cows, our older cows, late cows. We're gonna turn them out on some pasture. We'll sell some of them. We'll keep a bunch of them. Guys, thanks a lot for coming along today. Really appreciate it. Hope you're all doing well. We'll see you in the next one.